Hey, how's it going there? This is going to be section one, module one, step one, whatever you want to call it, of how to make better decisions. And I talked about this yesterday, about how Henry Ford was a guy you could look at for how he made decisions. And the first thing that you have to do is to take a look at the available information. Now, understand you don't want to try to look at all of the available information because what will happen is you'll trigger your ego to attempt to stop you from making a decision because your ego knows that when you make a decision that means you're taking responsibility. If you take responsibility and things go bad it might be your fault which could cause you emotional, spiritual or even physical pain. And side note, a lot of people talk about the ego as if its only purpose is to brag about how great you are and lord yourself over other people and, and all these things. And while that does happen and it's an aspect of what your ego can do, it's not what it's primarily for. Primarily, your ego is the thing that actually wants you to achieve things so that you can develop pride and things like this and also to protect you from pain even perceived pain anything that looks like it might be painful it's your ego is what keeps you locked in your comfort zone because it knows that in that area you are now completely safe and it doesn't have to do much and just hang out and let you do what you want it's when you start making a decision about doing something new or something like that, it starts to freak out again. And you've got to watch out for it. Don't, don't bash your ego also. It's, it's another thing. So you're looking at the available information and you don't want to try to get it all because your ego will say, well, we need more information. And you'll get bogged down in attempting to figure out all these different things to, oh do I, I might need to know that and I, did I look over here this will keep you from being able to make a decision because you'll continue to tell yourself well I need more information I have to figure everything out first it's not true and you can find yourself being drawn down into a quagmire of never getting anything done because you simply can't make a decision most of the time what will happen is the opportunity will pass you by while you're screwing around <laughs> pretending like you're doing research. So that right there is key number one. Look at the available information. So think of a decision you got right now to make and start looking around. Look at the big items, not necessarily every minute detail. Get all that information together. In the next episode, I'll talk to you about your second step. Until then, I hope you're having a great day. It's a little bit chilly out where I am, but that's all I got for now. I'll talk to you tomorrow. I'm out.